the Emmys, child, they was out here saying that the um the the drag race girls was being shady. So look, they said don't be shady, be a lady, but I guess the rules don't apply to these girls because they was out here being shady at the at the um Emmys. Why well, I don't know why I want to say the BMA is so bad. Maybe because it just happened. So yeah, there goes the, uh, the full cast of queens. You know, every year, just like the um the VMAs, the M, you know they get to go to the Emmys because it's up for them. But also goes to show that you know we need more shows to get nominated. I would love to see Dragula be nominated for an Emmy. I need to look and see if they were even nominated because they're just as good as Drag Race. Maybe now with season six, they'll finally be recognized. But yeah, Drag Race should not be the only you know, gang in town that gets acknowledged by the, you know, by the mainstream as being the essence and the full epitome of drag. So it is giving, oh no, they better don't. Because RuPaul's Drag Race stars insist they didn't stage a mass walkout after the show was snubbed at the Emmys. So the series failed to win outstanding reality competition program at the 2024 Emmy Awards, losing out to the traitors. Drag Race has, ev- has won every year since 2018, except in 2022 when Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls snatched the honor. Singing staff writer at The Hollywood Reporter Chris Gardner claimed that drag stars didn't take the disappointment well, saying after the category was announced, the team from Drag Race, including all the queens, cleared out and headed to the lobby. Now, a later post on the Twitter show that the cast was still there late into the show with Gardner correcting himself and writing RuPaul's Drag Race team and friends are still here. Now, if you actually watch the video, which I'm going to go to right about now, and if he was actually paying attention, this is why I don't understand why he went and put that out there because he was being messy. Um, The Drag Race girls... It was when they left, it was during a commercial break. It was when they, had, yeah, it was I had a break in the commercials. And they basically, let me play it while I talk about it and give, because I can't play it. Um, it's a lack of his music playing. So I don't want to get demonetized. But yeah, if you look, it was during a break. I was give you oh, wait, hold on. I'm sitting here talking about, I need to mute it. I didn't mute it. My fault. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there's a lot going on in the background, a lot of noise, a lot of other stuff. They're actually sitting that they're going to the bathroom, whatever the case is. So, yeah, they're doing the show. Um, they're taking a break. They're, you know, probably going to go get something to drink, go to the bathroom, whatever the case is. This is what happens, you know, when they do a lot of these shows. It's the fact that, yeah, they got to go take a break. They got to go do stuff. They're mingling and conversing and all that other stuff. So, they're not all trying to leave. It's just there's a break in the day. So, okay, so we can stop sharing that. And so, you know, of course, the girls had to clap back, clap back, clap back. <laughs> Remember that stupid ass song? So they had to clap back and said um, that, oh, child, they got stage assassination attempt on trending on social media. I told you the people ain't stupid. They figuring it out. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me pull this up for y'all. Because I realized that I stopped um, showing one of the photos and then we can get back to the story. Where the whole cast is there with RuPaul looking like a, like a, like a gay rodeo wrangler. And then you got all, everybody there. You got RuPaul, Carson Kressley, Michelle Visage looking snatched for the gods, Ross Matthews, T.S. Madison, and Jamal Sims. Who well, actually, I don't mind him on, as a judge on this season's of Global All Stars. The only sad part is he's getting the you know the stray while the show is just a hot ass mess, and it's not even his fault. So now, Gardner's original post received a pushback from drag artists who were there with Plain Jane, of course, being the one to come out and speak, explaining that the team simply wanted some air, saying it was a commercial break and the girls wanted a drink. We all stayed until the end of the ceremony. Take your pseudo-journalism elsewhere. Now, season 16, the mandatory meeting also clapped back, saying the award came just before an ad break, adding sarcastically, are we allowed to go piss, girl? Others who believe the post was misleading noted that much of the group were in drag, which can be super uncomfortable. One person wrote, people are saying they're rude, but clearly it was downtime. No one was presenting on stage and people were walking out and coming in. Over its, excuse me, 
15 minute, I mean, 15 year tenure, Drag Race has received 71 Emmy nominations, picking up an award 29 times. It is the second most successful outstanding reality competition program with five wins just behind The Amazing Race. It was first nominated in 2017, but lost out to The Voice. Other Emmys the show has won, including Outstanding Casting, an Outstanding Director for a Reality Program. In addition, RuPaul has won Outstanding Host eight times. So, what other being said, it's a much of a do about nothing. It's like, yeah, y'all don't realize drag is uncomfortable. And, you know, um, I don't know if all of them was tucking, because me, if I was in a big old gown like Sephira Crystal, you best believe I'm not tucking my meat, because I'd be able to pee. And when you sitting up in there, I don't know how long these damn Emmys are, like how what time you got to show up and all this other stuff. If I got to go to the bathroom, I got to go to the bathroom. So, I feel this the same. It's much ado about nothing. The girls is feeling how they feel. I understand. And it's like, yeah, I didn't believe that because when you see the video, you can clearly see that it was a break time. They weren't getting up and storming out. Maybe it sounds good because you can speak about it in a gossip sense and it's going to get you clicks and likes and this and that, and, you know, things of that nature. But look, y'all media people, y'all got to do better. So, excuse me. I feel this the same. Whatever your thoughts are on this story, let me know in the comments down below.